Hey Bible lovers, I'm Tim Nichols and I'm here to bring you your Nichols worth. And I wanted an ESV Creeds and Confessions Bible that looked period and I knew exactly who to go to to get the job done and that is Jeremy Strang at Simple and Timeless Rebinds. He does hardback rebinds and he does some amazing work. In fact, if you want to look at this real quick, this is called the Mobile Back Study Bible and this is a BSB he did for me. You notice that cover is very thick, but when you open it up, check this out. You flip this back and it stands up on its own and you can read it hands-free. That is innovative. In fact, Jeremy Strang is among the most innovative rebinders in the business and he does something very few do. There's a lot of book restorers out there that will restore old books, but Jeremy offers hardbacks as a brand new rebind as well. I'm sure he could do book restoration, but where he really shines is rebinding book blocks that are current. So now let's look at this. ESV creeds and confessions. First of all, because hardbacks have a tendency to kind of curl, especially when there's different weather elements in play in the room, he made this strap for me that will hold this thing tight and shut so that the book will not warp. I thought that was really cool, but you just simply slide this off. And then let's take a look at this thing. I am amazed by his work. First of all, I love that white goatskin cross and this is so innovative. What he did is he used a hole punch here and then from that center point he took thread and he made crosses out of thread to match the cross in the middle to give me five crosses and with each spine hub he gave me an insert here and sewed them with that burgundy thread with accent burgundy thread around that cross. Just that is phenomenal spine work. This is incredible. This is an Italian cowhide that has a gray marble look. This is an Italian goat skin that has a really nice grain. I don't know if that grain is stamped or not, but it definitely looks nice. And then the stitch work here. And one thing I love about this stitch work is you can tell this was not done by a sewing machine. It is not machine like perfect. You can see that a hand did this and it's just absolutely beautiful front and back just gorgeous and one thing as i told you earlier i wanted this thing to look old so what he did is he gilded this and check it out that looks like ink dye that was done hundreds of years ago just did a beautiful job making that look just slightly rough to where this does not look like a new book but it's in new condition so now three really nice double-sided satin ribbons i do not believe these are beresfords but they are very nice now let's get to this liner, check it out. It has that clothy liner, just really nice gold. This all just has that really old, regal, nice look. It's just absolutely beautiful, so well done. And then the end sheet, and you can see that it's been reinforced. I'm not sure if that's a leather or what that is, but you can feel the tab here to where he's attached this spine and this cover to this book block. And then he glued this to a white sheet here to finish off that security process. You see that it's either a book binder tape or some kind of edge line tab to really hold this together nice. And one huge, huge advantage of hardbacks is check this out. You are gonna have no trouble getting a hardback to lay absolutely 100% flat. I love that this has the squared off corners. Check that out. We are in the book of Genesis right at the beginning, laying flat as a pancake. That text is well out of that gutter. No having to train that edge line tab. Just an absolute beautiful work of art. This is the same layout as the ESV Omega. It's going to have your textual notes on the bottom, your references in the corner. This is the most difficult referencing system to use because it's really small and it's difficult sometimes to connect it to the verses. But overall, this is my favorite ESV layout. And then when you get to the back, you know what you've got. You're going to have all your features you have with your ESV Omega, but then you got some extras. And for you that love this block, you know what those extras are. So you got your concordance, but once you move past your concordance, you're going to have all of your creeds and confessions. And I love that they are in kind of a historical order with a little bit of an introduction. So this gives you 13 of the creeds beginning with the Apostles' Creed, which was supposedly written by one of the students of John the Apostle. Then the Nicene Creed, which addressed the heresy of Arianism. Each one gives you a beautiful introduction. It lets you know what's going on, what era of time it was done in. As we move into the Athanasian Creed, which was sort of established by the Catholic Church. And then we move into these confessions that were established during the Protestant Reformation. And then when you get past all of your creeds and confessions, this has the long and the short Westminster Catechism. It has the maps that you're used to. 
close it out with that beautiful cloth liner sheet for the cover and capped off with this marbleized end sheet to beautify that block. This is an amazing work and Jeremy absolutely crushed this project. I highly recommend that you utilize him. Now, Jeremy is a hobbyist. He is not a full-time rebinder, so it does take him a little while and also he doesn't take a whole lot of custom orders. So just keep that in mind that it may take a little time for him to get to you, but his work is gonna be epic and I guarantee you're gonna love it. God bless you, keep calm, Jesus on. This is your Nicholsworth.